All right, this is the directions for the Photoshop Graffiti Doodle uh, assignment, which is in third quarter assignments. So you have to go to assignments, third quarter, Graffiti Doodle. You should have at least started and made a doodle. The directions are inside the folder itself. Just a nice, quick, and easy. Hopefully you use black pen. If you did not, these directions will also help you out. If you just use pencil, that's okay too. So back to the actual project itself. Are right, you going to create a full page doodle uh, on a piece of computer paper? Uh, scan your doodle and you save it to your work folder. And then from the server, you're going to open up this uh, example file. It's called Graffiti Doodle PSD. And save this copy to your files. Now open up Photoshop and you're going to see three layers. All right, those three layers are going to be top, the wall, the drawing, and then the white background. All right, so we're going to create a new layer. The new way to create a new layer is going down here to the icon that says new layer. If you hover over it, it should say new layer, create a new layer. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and then we're going to go to the menu bar, go to file, Place, I go place embedded. The reason I use place embedded is that the file will actually be inside of here, not linked to an outside source. So always place embedded. We're going to browse for Annalise Miller's wonderful sketch. Miller Photoshop. Here it is. We're going to place it in there. All right. Once it gets placed, you can size it from here. I think we're going to have it just be a part of the wall, not the entire wall. And when, if you're done, you can check it off, double click or press enter. All right, and there it should be. The one thing that's the problem here is that it is too light. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see how the lines are not going to be that easy to isolate. So what I do initially here is I will go to image adjustments. You can do an adjustment layer, but that doesn't work all the time. Now the problem with the adjustments is I cannot do it because they're grayed out. What does that mean? That means that this layer has not been rasterized. If you haven't rasterized the layer, you need to do that now. And you'll see that it has a little thumbnail next to it. Right click on the layer itself in the blue area. Go to rasterize the layer. And now your image adjustments should show up. And I go to levels. And levels is great because levels will help you to isolate the black and these, these are the sliders. This is for the white. This is for the darkening, the mid, mid tones, and the blacks. I like to have them all kind of in the same area. So I'm really darkening this line up. And then right here on the white slider, this gets rid of the white behind there. So this should be pretty good. Getting those lines nice and dark. Now, I would have asked her probably to go even a little bit darker with her pencil line, but that's as good as we'll get. Press OK. I don't need all the rest of this, so I'm actually going to start erasing this stuff out. All right, and that's the way we use levels. I don't want that part, nor do I want this part. I'm just selecting it with the marquee tool, and, and I'm going to press delete. All right, and this looks like a pretty good drawing that we will then drag to the in between the middle of the wall and background layers. So I'm going to actually take this, drag it in between the wall and the background layers. You can see there's already a drawing there. What you do next is you actually set the wall layer to multiply, and you should see what's happening now. All right, now you see the drawing below there. OK, and you can start coloring in in another layer below that. All right, with your brushes. Uh, using different colors. Uh, let's say we use red. Or we can put this on a top layer. And you can see that it's actually come through. What the problem is, is that this is still has a white interior. So if I actually put that layer below here, it disappears. So you have to actually put it above. You can color this in. Or if you wanted to, you can actually use, and I would make a copy of this first, duplicate this layer, right click, duplicate. Try to use your fill bucket. If you've done a good job of really making these lines crisp and clean, you can use this fill, bu fill bucket pretty easily. And it will work for you, okay? 
but you can see when you do use the fill bucket, it does kind of get close to those edges. Play around with this, have some fun. I'm going to give you one more update in a second.